Okay, there are quite a few different ways of doing this. Uh, you could find the roots, um, or you could expand it and try it that way. I'm going to do it the longer but easier way. I'm going to type in a quarter times bracket, and I'm going to start off with the 5, so 5 plus 4, close bracket, open bracket, 5 minus 1, close bracket, open bracket, 5 minus 4. And I'm just going to fill in each of the x values and find out what the coordinates are, starting with 5. So I'm going to press equals, and that says 9. So we're going to start off at 9, which is here. I'm just going to go back on my calculator and change all those 5s to 4s. Just takes a while. And in your exam, make sure you copy down all of these values. So that's 0. Then I'm going to change all those 4s to 3s. And just write these values down in the exam as you go. And that's uh, minus 3.5, which would be roughly what about here. Uh, change all those 3s to 2s. It's prob uh, if you get a, a, a decent calculator, you can just do all of this. Um, by just changing them, and that's minus 3. You get a little cursor button at the top to do that. Change all the 2s to 1s, and that's 0. Change them all to 0. And that's 4. Now, when you put in negatives, always put them in brackets. So I'm going to change them all from bracket minus 1, close bracket, bracket, minus 1, close bracket. And just always get in the habit of putting negatives uh, in the calculator into brackets. That's 7.5. Okay, now a lot of you will think, oh, I can finish that off, I don't need to do any more. But with cubics, which this is, it kind of goes back on itself eventually. So putting in minus 2 gives us the answer of 9. So it's not it's not shooting up, which we would think, which it would in a quadratic. So I'm going to put in minus 3. And it goes to 7. So this is all very strange. OK, let's put in minus 4. Right, and it shoots back to 0. Now, because this is cubic, cubic graphs look like this. They go up, then down, then up again, or down, then up, then down again. Or they just kind of hover and then go up like that. Okay, and this is what this looks like. It looks like it goes up, and then down, then up again. Now, when you're drawing these, it's really important that you go through all the points that you've selected. Uh, and normally, there's just the numbers minus 4 to 5, like all the integers. And you don't do something called feathering, which is like this. I've exaggerated a little bit, but it's just one clean line. Now, some people find it easier to turn it on its side, uh, which I can't do with my setup, but on paper, I always turn it to the side. It's just a lot easier. So I'm going to try my best here. Be forgiving. So just one line through. Make sure it jumps above those points there. And then one line down. That I can't quite see, but that's fine. A bit dodgy towards the end there. Um, it might be forgiving, but actually, I shouldn't do this. It should just be one line like that. That's perfect. Okay, so make sure it goes uh, for the full duration of the graph. Um, so the graph started here, and my graph started there. The graph finished here, and my graph finished there. Okay, and that's it.